Hello everybody, it's Michelle Pedersen here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 28th, 2020. So today we have a time for healing, balsamic moon, avert your eyes if you can't handle watching me struggle with this because I swear this was so perfect and so cute when I was testing it and now, oof, okay, precarious, okay. <laughs> anyway, it's a time for healing, balsamic moon, you're seeing what's possible, I'm going to get you a cabochon, that's what I'm doing over here. This one right here wants to come out. There is the back of it. We have Gabriel. Oh my gosh. Gabriel's all about the sacral chakra and the throat chakra. So healing and understanding. We keep talking about our personal truth, don't we? That seems to be a running theme here. So getting a chance to have your say, but this isn't in an egotistical way like, haha, I just need to be right. <laughs> I can't tell you how many things recently... Uh, you know, I have just backed down from, even though I know that what the other person is saying to me, there's a misunderstanding. It's not correct. I've actually said to people, I'd rather be happy than be right. You go ahead with whatever the heck you think <laughs> is the truth. You just have yours. I'll have mine, whatever. Right. So in that it was kind of healing to just kind of let that go. But Archangel Gabriel talks very much about healing that sacral chakra, healing the emotional body. And this has to do with trauma. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, it's trauma. You haven't been able to talk about what has happened to you for some of you. For others of you, you've already been past that stage. Maybe you've already been in therapy. You've already talked to somebody, but you know, traumas, they kind of sit there. They just kind of sit there no matter how much healing that you've done. This is talking about releasing this next phase of whatever's coming up for each of you through some bit of creativity that would definitely be a good tool you know we talk about writing all the time you know do anything that's kind of meditative that's all good for healing of course reaching out if you are in a stage where you need professional help please do not be afraid to do that okay no matter if we're in a toxic world that wants to diminish people who are going through it okay it doesn't make it true it doesn't make it right all right so Gabriel, I think, is definitely coming up for the sense of nurturing. So today can be a really nice, cozy day if you want. If that's something that's very healing for you, have a cozy day. Sit by the fireplace if you have one. Go for a walk if it's not, you know, if the weather is not too bad. Cup of tea, <laughs> read a book, or maybe your healing comes um, in the form of going off and having an adventure. You know, one of the most healing things I did just as an example, I grew up in Northwest Ohio, not far from Cedar Point. And one of the most healing things was to go off and go to the roller coaster park and, you know, just enjoy the nostalgia and, and enjoy the adventure and the thrill of being on the roller coasters. It made me feel like a kid again. As a matter of fact, me and my sister, when we were kids, we were just a year apart and people thought we were twins. And so my mom used to dress us like we were twins. <laughs> So as adults, uh, we grew up in the 80s. So me and my sister had matching outfits. <laughs> we did this and we were not sorry, okay? We had matching outfits. We busted out some like plastic neon jewelry and we wore that to the amusement park and we had the time of our lives and it was so incredibly nurturing and healing just to sort of reclaim or kind of, um, you know, kind of pay pay homage to a time in our life where we were very innocent. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it is for you, it is your day to do this. See what you can come up with. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.